This is an Animal Crossing style bubble effect done in Godot. So I was playing Animal Crossing and I noticed when you do the emotion wheel there was a nice swelling effect that happens on the bubble in the background. So step one, you're going to need a sprite that is the background of your image. And on top of that we're going to have the foreground and this isn't going to be affected by the shader we're going to put on top. We're going to put a shader material on the background and in this shader we are going to use vertex manipulation to swell the x and y vertices in accordance to the current time. What we're going to do is we're going to check if we're on the right side of our shape by checking if our vertex.x is greater than 0.5, that's the right side. If we are, we're going to add a function of the sign of the current time to that position. That will smoothly uh, increase and decrease the amount we're displacing the vertex by. We're then going to apply the same effect in all other directions. So if it's less than x, we're going to minus it. If it's greater than y, we're going to add to the y, and if it's less than 0.5 on the y, we're going to subtract from the y. We're going to pass in some variables so we can customize it. Those will be the magnitude and the speed. And we're also going to export a Boolean value of whether or not the effect is on. I'm just going to reposition it here. And now, after we tweak those parameters, we should get a nice swelling effect. And now I'm going to show you those effects side by side. The final thing worth mentioning is the difference between taking the sign of the current time versus taking the absolute value of the sign of the current time. If we take the sign of the current time, we will uh, saturate when we're at the bottom of our curve, so it will slowly approach our minimum point, whereas if we take the abs, it will bounce, which looks nice.